Hi everyone! This is just a real quick video on how to print multiple images on a single sheet of paper. Um, this is an update. I've done this video before, but that was with Windows 8. This is Windows 10 and there is a small change. Uh, so first off you're going to notice on your desktop that you have this file folder. You want to open up your file folder. This is where your images, your pictures, your downloads, this is where it's all going to be stored. Now mine is an external hard drive, so I have to scroll down to find that. But yours, you could be, you know, downloads or pictures. You could even find it on your desktop, which is listed here as well. Okay, so if I hit desktop, see, these come up. And they're already on my desktop. Okay, but I want my external hard drive and then I'm going to scroll down to this file oops sorry this file now the first thing you want to check is your view go into view make sure that this box here see this one make sure that's ticked off that allows you to grab each individual photo that you want. So I want to choose four of them. As long as you're ticking in the box, um, you're fine. So we'll scroll and we'll do this one. So now I have the four that I want to choose. When you go into share, you'll see the print button right beside the zip file. Now if you wanted to zip those together, that's that's where you'd do it. But for this instance, we want to print. So we're going to hit the print button and this comes up. Now you'll notice you only have the first image that you've chosen, but that's because you have it on full page. First you want to make sure your printer's listed, that you have it on letter size or whatever paper you're, you know, choosing to print on. Then the quality of your print. I always do normal. But this part's really important. So if you're printing on say a gloss paper, you need to set it for gloss. If you're printing on I have photo paper, but it's not a gloss. So I need to just put it on an inkjet photo paper. And that way your ink is dispersed properly on your on your paper. Now, I want four images. So if I scroll down to here and hit this box, then all four of my images come up. If I don't want them to be spread out evenly, then I'd hit this and they're going to shrink to the size that they were downloaded. So you're going to get the borders and the whole bit. So if that's what you want, then that's great. And then you'd go to here and hit your print. Gets ready to print. And there it goes. So that's it. That's how you print. Now, say you only wanted to print two images. So we'll untick two boxes. Let's untick that one. And what other one did I choose? Up oh, there. Let's untick that one. Now let's go back again to print. Now we still want to do four. Okay. We hit that because I like the size. Well if you go down here and hit the up arrow, now you're going to get four images. So they're the same images, yes, but you haven't wasted your full page. And then you could go ahead and print those. Okay? That's how you do it. And I hope that's helpful. No expert, you guys, so be gentle. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Have a wonderful day. Bye.